بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وتممت عليكم نعمتي ورديت لكم إسلام الدين الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس this day I perfected for you my religion and I've completed my favor upon you and I have and I am pleased for you Islam as your religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has completed his favor upon us. And this was a clarification from the book of Allah or to understand uh, Aqidah and creed. It comes from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and what the salaf of this ummah were united upon. And when we take other sources outside of those sources of the religion, like our desires, our opinions, our madhab, our sheikh, our whatever, and it's not in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, nor with the Salaf we're upon, it is if we are saying that the Aqidah and the Ibadah and the Saluk, you know, the creed and the worship and the, uh, the manners aren't sufficient with what the Prophet Sallallahu came with and what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala revealed in his book. And that's, those are some of the statements of the Salaf of this Ummah, like Imam Shafi'i said, the one that, that innovates in this re- religion, it is if they are saying that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam cheated us in relation to the message that he was given. So when you innovate and you bring something new in worship, new with regards to a new understanding of the religion, meaning a new methodology or madhab, or a new aqidah, a new creed, that is if you're saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not complete his religion. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear for us, Al-yawm akmeltu lakum dinakum. This day I've perfected for you uh, your religion. Wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati. And I've completed my favor upon you. And I am pleased with Islam as your religion. So take that from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Fahim of the Salaf of this Ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty for a class with Thabat Allah Sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us for our many sins and our shortcomings and protect us and forgive us for any and all forms of bid'ah that we may have uh, fallen into. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.